Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomskar Ridgewell and today I thought we'd talk about honesty and emotional manipulation on YouTube. I recently watched a very interesting video by Bobby Burns that detailed some of the tricks that YouTubers use when trying to convey an emotional message. Allow me to demonstrate some of those now. I really I can't believe I'm going to talk about this. But it's it's really important. I need to poop. <laughs> I need to poop really bad. Now, you might have seen these tropes in a lot of other YouTubers' videos, particularly ones covering serious, heavy, or generally emotional topics. What Bobby lists these methods as is a form of emotional manipulation, implying that they're calculated tactics used to make the audience feel more sympathy and generate more views. He doesn't claim that the emotions or messages within the videos are fake though, just that the presentation itself is disingenuous and essentially exploitative. I'm not here to argue against Bobby's videos or deny the existence of these tropes, because I myself have used all of them at one point or another. The best examples of this would be my vlogs, The First Girl, and My Friend Died. What I'd like to do though is offer a deeper explanation than simply they get more views and sympathy. What I'd like to argue is that YouTubers don't do this because they want to, but because they have to. Public perception is a huge part of what we do, and people have a hard time believing in our sincerity unless, ironically, we act in an insincere fashion. It's not enough to say something, we also have to perform it. When I'm at conventions, for example, I am humbled and flattered and genuinely excited to meet you, but no one would believe that if I acted the way that I naturally would in that situation. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, thank you so much, that's really nice of you to say. Oh, you wanna get a photo? Yeah, let's do it. When I act like that, like myself, I get told I seem tired and catch subtweets saying stuff like, I met Tom Scar, but it didn't seem like he wanted to be there and I don't think he liked me and that, really suck, so to accurately convey my own excitement, I have to act in an unnatural way. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, thank you so much, that's really nice of you to say. Oh, you wanna get a photo? Yeah, let's do it! So, going back to the world of emotional vlogs and videos, the same rules often apply. If we want to express something true, we often have to overdo it, or else our sincerity will be put into question. If we want to talk about something emotional, we also have to appear emotional. Another example, when I made the vlog, my friend died, I needed to get off my chest just how not okay I was, and so I made a video talking about that, but when I watched the footage back, I knew from experience that people would mistake my composure for me being dispassionate and not as upset as I claimed. It actually took a couple tries to shoot that video to accurately express how I felt, but in a way that people would believe, with just the right amount of crying. And yeah, it is fucked up that I even had to do that, but the alternative, being called a liar, would have been soul-destroying at the time. I think that covers a lot of the motivations behind the use of these tropes, but it doesn't really explain why all these videos look so similar, but I think that one is actually pretty simple. To show people that something is real, it has to be the opposite of everything they know to be fake. Everyone knows that YouTubers plan what they're going to say and ramp up their personalities and cut out all the crap, so none of that can be present in these videos or else people will perceive it as just another performance piece. We essentially have to go against everything we know and intentionally make a shitty video in order to seem less intentional. Yeah. As for stuff like using dramatic lighting or sad music, yeah, that one is pretty on the nose, but in our defense, it's our jobs. We know that videos need lighting and music, and if we're gonna use it, we're gonna use the appropriate ones for the situation. It's cheesy, but it helps convey the message, and it's that or nothing. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that it's fucking weird. It is, but it's not just a case of this'll make for a better video that'll really rake those suckers in. It's about applying a necessary performance to accurately convey your own sincerity in a way that your audiences will believe and understand. It's sad that it's even necessary, but it works. It's not a case of manipulating the emotions of your audience, it's more manipulating your own emotions for your audience. And I don't really know if that's better, honestly. 
Hopefully I've made a good case for this, but let me know your thoughts and I'll see you next time. Do check out Bobby Burns' video though, because it is quite interesting. Yes. Tom Scar out. Oh, <laughs>